What's up guys and uh, welcome back to another uh, building tune tune tutorial from me. Uh, this time we have got a gold, a very gold uh, Ferrari F40. Uh, this time we're going to be doing something uh, a little bit faster. So uh, this is in uh, S class. Uh, so a bit faster than the uh, B and C class cars we've been building and tuning already. Um, I've been using this quite a lot in the uh, lobbies uh, with quite a lot of success. Uh, it seems to be a really, really good, uh, just overall, generally good car. Uh, it's got good speed, good handling, and uh, yeah, performs really, really well. Um, I've also, as you probably saw, put a new uh, little uh, design together, uh, just a little logo um, that I've uh, shared on the uh, Forza Motorsport 5 as well. Um, it's not actually on this car now, it's on the, uh, the gold intro. Um, and yeah, you can, guys can download that, uh, as well as any of the tunes that I've done so far, and uh, maybe some little secret ones now and again. Um, yeah, that'll be uh, all you've got to do is search for S2 on uh, whatever it is it is, and you'll either pop up my tunes or you'll pop up my um, logo. So, anyway, enough of me talking, and uh, let's get on to the build for this car. Okay, so here we are on the uh, upgrade shop, and as usual, we shall start with conversions. Uh, engine swap, uh, we've got the stock engine in, in this, uh, but what I did realise is you can actually fit the upgraded engine in if you want to change the build round, uh, but for this one I'll use the stock powertrain, stock engine, uh, drivetrain is stock as well so we've left it as rear wheel drive, uh, we'll have a look at the engine upgrades now, uh, so air filter is stock, uh, fuel system is stock as well, Ignition is stock, uh, exhaust is stock as well, uh, camshaft is race, uh, valves are race as well, displacement is race, uh, pistons and compression are race as well, uh, turbo is stock, intercooler is stock, as usual, oil and cooling is stock as well. And the flower wheel on this one uh, is race. And I use a race for flower wheel because I had a few extra points left when I was building it. And uh, that was pretty much one of the only few things I could actually fit on the car to make it up to 800. Um, so yeah, we've got the race flower wheel on. But if you do use different builds, um, like you put a different engine in, you will have obviously, you won't need to use that and you may be able to get a bit more power. Uh, but anyway, back to this one, it's uh, platform and handling. We've got uh, brakes, our race. Uh, springs, suspension is race as well. Um, front anti roll bars are race. Rear anti roll bars are race as well. Uh, roll cage is race. And as usual, uh, weight reduction is race as well. So that's that down, down to drivetrain. Uh, clutch is stock. Transmission is race, uh, drive line is race as well, uh, differential last but not least uh, that's race also. Uh, on to tyres and rims, uh, tyre compound we've got the race compound on, uh, front tyre width is max, uh, rear tyre width is max as well, uh, the rims we got on this are actually the standard Ferrari rims, I haven't changed them. Um, but as you look in, you can see you can add different ones um, and still keep it at 800. Uh, but the ones I've got highlighted GN pluses to actually add weight to it. Uh, so I've left the stock rims on. Uh, front rim size, uh, obviously, you can't do if you don't upgrade your wheels. Um, so can't do anything with them. Uh, Forza Aero, very last, we've got uh, race front bumper on it and also on the rear wing we've got the race as well uh, just adds a tiny little lip on the big wing already so that's the build pretty much done for this car um, once you've done it you should have uh, the stats I'll show you 7.4, 6.3, 9.4, 9.5 .9 and 6.9 so having done the uh, build uh, we'll have a look at the tune uh, so the tyres first of all we've got the front tyres are at 29.5 and the rear at 28 uh, gearing is 3.79, 2.88, 2.14, 1.64, 1.31, 1.10 and 0.95 Alignment, uh, front camber is minus 
uh, rear cam back is minus 0.7 front toe is 0 uh, rear toe is minus 0.2 and front caster angle is 5.5 uh, Anti-roll bars, 17.91 uh, for the front and 19.91 for the rear. Springs, I've got it set as 643.6, or as close as you can get it. And rear is 705.1, uh, with the ride height, both front and rear being as low as possible. Damping, I've got 9.2 and 9.9. .9, and bump stiffness, I've got 4.6 and 5.3. Aero is max for front and rear, so that's the most uh, aero and downforce you can get on it. Uh, brake setting, as always, this is down to personal preference, but I've got mine set as uh, 47% and uh, 123%. And uh, lastly, differential. You've got acceleration at 84% and deceleration at 88%. So if we take a look at the uh, leaderboards for Catalonia National, we can see that that gave me a time of 1 minute 14.002, which put me 24th on the leaderboard. Uh, and I think if we scroll all the way down, there's quite a few F50s in there, but uh, yeah, that's actually the fastest F40 on that track uh, for now. Because they say there will be a lot of faster guys that will possibly uh, not down the leaderboard a little bit, or uh, maybe build and tune a faster F40. But for now, it is the fastest F40 on the leaderboard. Um, so yeah, that pretty much brings this building tune to an end. Um, as always, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this and you uh, build it and tune it and uh, leave me loads of comments below. Let me know how you get on with it or if you tried anything different, uh, post that below as well so I can try it out and uh, see if I can get myself further up the leaderboard. Um, so yeah, guys, as always, if you enjoyed this, uh, feel free to hit me a uh, like below and uh, leave me a comment or subscribe if you haven't already uh, or share it, uh, try and help my uh, YouTube channel grow. I really appreciate all of that. Uh, so yeah, so thanks guys, and until next time, I shall see you all soon.